some time ago, I started thinking heavily about the Great Lakes as a unique geographic region. I began asking myself some questions. How and why did we end up here out of all places? What environmental impacts were seen prior to the Industrial Revolution? What was it like to fall in love in 19th century Michigan? I found some answers to a few of these questions, but more importantly, I feel connected to the Great Lakes and Upper Midwest in a new way. I hold a heavy sense of pride, sorrow, and hope all at the same time. The pride comes from my deep lifelong connection to the area. The sorrow is derived from the damage that has been done. The hope stems from the beauty I see in the community at large, fighting to preserve and protect the region's forests, land, and water for future generations. I have spent the last three years digging into the history of the area, dreaming and conceiving a modern soundtrack to the past. There's so much that I don't know about the Great Lakes and never will. I'm indeed not a historian, but a songwriter who loves snippets of the past and sonic exploration. Digging into this region's history inspires a sense of wonder and awe. It helps me recall the simple joy of wading into Lake Michigan after a long, cold winter. It reminds me of going into the North Woods as a child, wondering if we'd see a bear or other magical creature. It takes away some of the darkness of this world at times. This journey has made me feel more connected to my Great Lakes roots. My hope is that it will inspire a similar path of reflection for others. Originally, all of Michigan was virgin wild land, a land of wild plenty to which hard French fur traders and gentle priests followed intrepid wilderness explorers, more or less governed in the area until 1763. 